Imagine meat that is grown in a lab. That is cellular agriculture. It is no longer the dreams of a science fiction novel, but it is a real technology that will shape our future. Cellular agriculture involves cultivating stem cells to produce real animal products without the need to raise nor slaughter animals. These range from meat to dairy to leather. By revolutionizing the way we harvest meat and dairy, we can envisage a sustainable food future without relying on mass changes in consumer behavior. This means that you can eat meat with a clean conscience. The agriculture industry is one of the key contributors to the current climate crisis. Cellular agriculture has many environmental benefits above current farming practices. It has much lower greenhouse gas emissions and uses far less water, land and energy than conventional farming methods. A cellular agriculture future would also have major benefits on public health. Over half of the antibiotics sold globally are used on livestock, contributing to the rapidly increasing rates of antibiotic resistance in bacteria. It is estimated that antibiotic resistance will kill more people than cancer by 2050. Cellular agriculture would also massively reduce animal suffering. The intensive farming methods currently used to reduce the majority of the world's meat and dairy are neither humane nor natural. There are two main techniques used in cellular agriculture, tissue engineering and fermentation. Tissue engineering involves taking stem cells from a live animal and cultivating them in a controlled environment. Here, they can be directed to form any type of cell. In the case of meat, it would be muscle cell. In the case of leather, it would be skin cell. These cells can reproduce indefinitely. So in theory, only one animal biopsy is required. Fermentation involves using yeast cells to produce a desired protein. This is already used in the case of insulin production for type 1 diabetics. Cellular agriculture techniques are now being applied to produce dairy proteins without the need for cows. The first lab-grown burger was produced in 2013 and there are now over 40 cellular agriculture companies across the globe. It is estimated that clean meat products will be available to consumers within the next 10 years. At Cellular Agriculture Cambridge Uni, we're aiming to raise awareness and facilitate networking opportunities with global leaders in this space. This is the first student society of its kind in the UK and one of the first in the world. We have an up and coming online conference on Tuesday, the 20th of October, on how to pursue a career in the cellular agriculture industry. Please give us a follow and keep your eyes peeled for further details.